Hey guys, we're back to an infinite duty and we're back um, with the Dios, Dios and Treasure of the Sea. A very cranky crab. We all stared at the hermit crab. He had really just admitted to being the thief. Pam spoke up first. Maybe we didn't understand you correctly. You understood perfectly, snapped the hermit crab annoyed. It was I who took the sea vitamin. But why? Ryder asked. None of your business, the hermit crab said. But it is our business, I persisted. It's the business of every creature in this realm. A realm that is in danger of disappearing because of you. How can you behave like this? Don't you have a heart? Violet scolded him. It is because of my heart that I stole the violin, said the crab, and that stopped all that I will say. Now please stop asking me about it. Please calm down, I said. We won't ask you about your motives anymore, but you must understand that the real is in great danger. Can you please give the violin back to us? I'm afraid that's not possible, the crab replied. Why not? Pam asked. Because the sea violin isn't here. At least not all of it, he said. What do you mean? Nikki asked. See for yourself, the hermit crab replied with a mysterious smile. He pointed to a mother pearl trunk at the back of the room. We rushed to open it. As soon as we lifted the heavy lid, we saw a seashell body of the sea violin. It was wrapped in a pink piece of silk. Violet picked it up and, and carefully unwrapped it. It has no strings, he cried. It can't play the music of the sea. You did this, Colette squeaked angrily at the crab. He motioned for us to follow him. He led up a nearest spiral staircase and then let, and then out uh, onto a terrace on top of the rural seashell. As you have seen, the body of the violin is here safe and sound, he said. However, the four strings have been hidden in different parts of the villa. You separated them on purpose, Pam cried. Of course, it was the only way I could guarantee never having to hear the violin played again, he said. That, but that has put the villa in terrible danger, I reminded him. The hermit crab considered this very well. Very well. We'll give you the violin if you can retrieve all the four strings, he said. Then he chuckled. What's so funny? Pam asked. It is it is not it will not be easy to take the strings from their guardians, the gra the crab replied. The first can be found in the cave of Salador, a fearsome dragon. A dragon squeak, Pam A dragon squeak Pam cried. The second string is in the Sirens Bay, home of the Emerald Sirens. The hermit crab continued. They sound less scary than a dragon. He gave him like, oh, in appearance. The golden fish chimed in. The Emerald Sirens will imprison anyone who listens to their magical song. Then we must, then we must be just as careful of them. I said, the hermit crab continued the third string. Continued. The third string is located in the sludge pits, home of the Gallimario. He is a very unpleasant giant squid, the golden fish nodded. The golden fish nodded. That's true. And the final string is guarded by a colossus, a huge whale, the hermit crab explained. The string is kept inside her gigantic belly. Closest is truly massive, agreed the golden fish. No creature that has been swept into her mouth has ever escaped. So we've got to face a dragon, sirens, a nasty squid, and a giant whale. Claire repeated in a worried voice. The cobra hermit crab impatiently clicked his claws. You know what you must do. I have nothing further to say. If you manage to gather all four strings, I will see you here again. If not, farewell. 
Then he scuttled back inside. We left his palace feeling very discouraged. I can't believe what that hermit crab did, Claire explained. What would make him hate the music of the, sea, of the violin so much? He's always been very cranky, but I never thought he could do he could do anything so terrible, said the golden fish. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, I said. And we're grateful for you for bringing us here. At least now we have a chance of getting the sea violin back to Queen Anne. I'm afraid it, it won't be easy, the fish said. We can do it, Colette promised him. We don't want your real arm to disappear. Thank you. Every creature here will be in your depth. The fish replied, we're going to open the map of Aquine right now. Let's see where we need to go. The fish pointed out the four locations, but they're so far apart, Pam cried. We'll have to split up, said Will. I think that might be the best solution. I agree. Just then, a school of fish passed by. Half of the scales were brightly colored, but the other half had faded. Those poor fish, said Vitality. This is all because of the cobalt termite crab, said Polina. How could he be so cruel? Let's not judge him too quickly, I said. We don't really know him. He is a very mysterious creature, the golden fish added. None of us know where he came from. One day he just appeared and started building his palace. The eel of ages also said there was a mystery surrounding him. Could remembered the important thing now is to find those four strings. Will reminded us. I'll take the dragon and the squid. I said, Who wants to come with me? Pam and Violet quickly raised their hands. We'll go. Excellent, said so Will. Then Polina, Colette, Nikki, and I will go find the Emerald Sirens and the giant whale. We thank the golden fish for his help. Then we split into groups. Splitting up always makes me a little nervous, but I know, but I knew their time was running out. Good luck, I said to Will. I hope we'll meet back here soon with all four strings of the sea violet. The wrath, the wrath of the Salador. How are we supposed to get the string back from a fierce dragon? We asked as we swam toward Salador's cave. We just need to have faith, I told her. We've come this far, we, this far, haven't we? Maybe I won't be that fierce, Pam said hopefully. Soon we came to the entrance of a dark cave. This is it, said Pam. I think I can see him inside. We heard some odd shrill noises. Is that music? Rather wondered, then a noise thundered from inside the cave. Who goes there? We better go in, I told Pam and Violet as we spam through a tunnel into the cave. The dragon's green eyes flashed when he saw us. He turned and faced us. What do you want? He asked. We've come to ask you for the string of the sea violin, Pam asked. The future of this room depends on the sea violin, I called out. If Queen Emma can't play it again, Aquamarina will disappear. The dragon blew a spray, powerful spray of water at us. Ah! We shouted, ducking the blast. Now leave or you'll be sorry, Salador then. We're not leaving without the string, Pam said bravely. Then you shall feel my wrath. The dragon cried, dashing his long tail. Red jumped between Pam and Salador. Wait! Do you dare to challenge me too? The dragon's the dragon asked. Violet looks out door right in the eye. Were you playing a violin before? What if I was? Yes. Are you using the string for your violin? Well asked. It's none of your business, Aldor replied. Violet didn't give up. I also play the violin. The dragon looked interested. You? Violet nodded. Yes, and I can teach you if you like. Will you show me your instrument? The Salador's eyes narrowed. I don't trust you. I promise I will be careful. Rise said, smiling. I just want to see it. If you try to steal it, I shall blast you. Salador said, I know. Rise said, that's why you can, that's why you can trust me. 
The dragon seemed satisfied and lumbered deep into his cave. He returned with a violin and a bow. Violet held it. Violet held it. It's a beautiful instrument, she said, but the string of the C violin doesn't belong with the others. It's causing you trouble. If you have the original, I'll show you what I mean. The dragon looked doubtful, but he retrieved the orange string and gave it to Violet. She replaced the C violin string with it and then played a sweet, soft, sweet melody. That was wonderful, he said. How do you do it? I'll show you, said Violet. She helped Salinger properly hold the violin and bow. Now give it a try, she said. Salinger delicately moved the bow and a pretty note sounded from the violin. It works, he cried. Please, thank you. This, this string from the C violin is yours.